podcast show and it happens no, to come I, up. Yes, totally. I understand I will gladly, that. I will continue to talk about body count because women continue to come on the show and seem to have, if I ask them if there's one thing that they quarrel with in terms of men's preferences, they're like, why do you guys judge body count? And I'll continue to have the conversations. The chat wants to talk about it, so I'll continue to talk about it. But uh, I mean... <laughs> And, and another another thing about that is that if you are promiscuous, not only can we smell it a mile away, I think I read that earlier, but we know you're not only promiscuous for us and with us. Look, here's, an, here's another reason why body count matters. If a girl's kind of sleeping around, my impression there is she's not relationship material. She ne honestly necessarily is not relationship material. I don't, like, you're not interested in a relationship if you're sleeping around with multiple people okay. may i just say that like i had a really good friend not this one and a different one who was trying to find like a serious relationship but you know what she was sleeping with other people because she wanted to see how the sex was before continuing on down the line of a serious relationship and i think that's what a lot of women with a slightly higher body count have right now is that they're meeting a lot of men who they're sleeping with and then the men ghost them or whatever and they have no choice but to then have that body count maybe they thought it was going to be a relationship maybe they thought it was going to be great but they get ghosted guy moves on to the next girl and they have to move on in order to find that end partner who's going to click with you on all aspects sexuality intimacy intelligence you have to try i was just lucky that you know or maybe unlucky that i have i find it really hard to get intimate with people who i'm not close with but like other people don't so why should they be put down for that i don't necessarily think that and i don't think i said that they should be put down i'm saying that for me and for a lot of men, if a woman is promiscuous, she's probably not a good bet for a long-term relationship. But are you talking about like past or present? Because like present. I feel like so like Both. but they still but body count sure. but that doesn't past. make sense because you could have like a, a hoe phase like what three years ago and then you're ready to settle. Right. That doesn't like like mean that you're not ready to commit if you had a hoe phase, you know. I mean, that's kind of, or if you've had a hoe phase, that's a bit of a red flag. But like you had, and like, you know, like everyone like needs to look around before they settle for a relationship. Like, I don't think. But it kind of just goes back just because something's in your past. I mean, again, if I can bring up this example, if I found out that a girl cheated on every, or if you found out that a guy cheated on every single one of his exes, even though that was in the past, you're still going to be like, that's going to raise an eyebrow. Your past, okay, I'm trying to think. Would you, would you date a guy who previously slept with prostitutes? If he's clean and he hasn't done it for a very long time and he tests clean and he tells me, look, this was It was a past. year ago. Let's say it was a year ago. He was sleeping uh, with a whole bunch of prostitutes. He's clean, but he was sleeping with prostitutes. A year ago is a little soon for me. I would want it to be like three years ago, maybe more. But like if he's moved on from that life, like... Like, for, say you are dating a recovered drug addict. Like, it's the same thing. Are you going to put it against them? Yes. For using... Oh, wow. So, I can, so you Men are never, allowed to have standards. Of course. So if are If you women. were previously addicted to heroin... Right. As someone who doesn't do any drugs, who hasn't done... I smoked weed a few times in high sure. school. Don't... I haven't smoked weed in since the Bush administration. Okay. <laughs> I don't... If someone was previously addicted to heroin, for example... Sure. I'm not interested. Right. Point blank period. That's totally fine. However, it doesn't mean that they are like cursed, you know, like it doesn't mean that they are a low value person or something. If they're recovered and fully living their lives moved on, it's it, the same thing. It precludes them from having a relationship with me. That's fine. Who? I don't, I mean, I don't personally care, but like, I think that a lot of people... Don't worry about it. Okay. Just... <laughs> I think that a lot of people like... Sure, you're looking for something very specific, right? And you're looking for a low body count, 411. Um... No, okay, hold on. Specific. <laughs> I am. 411. I mean, he's oh. looking for a low body count, 411 virgin. Eric. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> F11. Can you pull it back up, Eric? Sorry, guys, our OBS. Okay. Go ahead, continue. Um, you're looking for something very specific. 
And but then you're coming on your podcast and you're kind of calling out women for looking for specific things with height and stuff like that. And it's totally I'm not. Okay. I'm not. So you're, are you just saying I that it's comparable? No, I acknowledge that women generally speaking have a preference for tall men. So I don't complain about it. I acknowledge it exists. Here's the thing, right? Women want to say you shouldn't care about body count or body count doesn't matter. Women can't accept you might be dissatisfied with the fact that men care about body count. Okay. But women seem to want to refuse the idea that it ought to matter and does matter for men. No, it's fine if it matters to you. Personally. And I, I certainly acknowledge that women are much pickier than men are. Right. And it's fine if it matters to you personally, but if it's just, it's a concept as a whole in the zeitgeist right now, body count, it's like constantly talked about. And I think that it's not as important as people make it. I think there's so much more to a relationship. Being a good mom is like the most important thing you should look for if you want to have Well, don't kids. date single moms. Oh. No, if you okay. want to have kids, you should be looking for somebody who's going to be a good mom. And that sure. should be your top priority. Who's going to be able to feed, take care, dress my kids and make them look perfect. Have a happy family with me. Make me happy at the end of the day when I come home from work. I, That's what you should look for. And it, it doesn't mean if she had eight sexual partners before or something that she's going to be a bad mother. I, I don't disagree with you that you have to look at the totality of the person it's mm -hmm. not just one single metric and that's either a, that's uh, gonna make them for example right I'm Wait, not saying that I have a question okay so let's say like so because you said girls are more picky than guys that's they are pretty valid but so it's like you're not gonna date just anybody so you're kind of looking around so what if like a girl goes on a date doesn't really vibe with the person and then gets a call from like an old hookup is like hey want to hook up she takes the offer hooks up with him Goes on another date, doesn't vibe, like does the same thing. Is that a turn off for you or like, because she's just looking for the right person, but is hooking up in between those dates. Is it with the same person? It could be the same person or it could be two different people. I, I, look, I think people are free to do whatever they want. My personal take is, is that I think that for both men and women, you should, if you're sleeping with someone, that should be to some degree purposeful. It yeah. shouldn't just like, Agreed. I don't know. I mean, that's my take. Some people are content being in situationships for nine months and then it ending and the commitment phobia, commitment phobia, people are fine with it. But for me, I think if you're sleeping with someone, you should at least have an intention to pursue something serious with them. So, so but your question is, would it be a turnoff for me if, a girl is going on dates and not feeling the vibe, which is that whole vibe thing is another conversation, but, and she's like hooking up with, I don't think, here's the thing. I don't think you should be, Who I think whoever you're sleeping with, I think you should just be sleeping with one person at a time. I don't think you should be dating and hooking up with an another guy at the same time. Okay. <coughs> if if you're dating, be properly single. Be that that's what I would like to see. But be what if you don't find a guy single. for like a year? And what then you you're mean? just not having what sex for a whole year. Wait, what? Like it's say like if you like can't properly find a guy that you want to date and have sex with for like a year, that means you're saying that the girl should be celibate for a whole year. Basically. Sure. So okay. Sure. Really? Okay. I'll actually allow I I'll actually allow you. Go ahead and Go ahead, do what you want. I mean, I would prefer you don't do it with five, six, seven, eight men. If you had, if you had one or two in that mm -hmm. twelve-month period, okay, that's understandable. You have your needs. We have everybody has needs. Oh. So, just I mean, you're you're free to if you want to do a hookup, you want to engage in hookup culture. I don't think it's p particularly rewarding. I don't think people are particularly happy with it. But if you want to do it, if it uh, if it satisfies a short-term pleasure-seeking thing in you then you're you're free to do it but uh i i think people ought to as far as who they have sex with i think you should be angling to pursue something seriously with that person if not why why have sex well i can think of reasons why to have sex but i <laughs> to me i think it's i mean you're just going to rack up your body count and yeah and then men won't look, like you. Look, <laughs> women should always be trying oh, to. Oh, no. 
<laughs> I think the woman should always, if they're getting sexual with somebody, they should always be trying to angle it into a relationship. Now, when, it, when that comes to a man, you could say that sex is to say opposite, but a man's going to sleep around and not care about the possibility of a relationship, but a woman, I think, always should. If she's going to be promiscuous and open her legs, it should be always in mind of a relationship. Ultimately, what I would like is if I'm going on a first date with a girl, come properly single. Don't be fucking a guy here and fucking this guy and like talking to these three dudes over here. Come proper single. So if I find out that I'm not the only one and obviously I'm, you're never really the only one these days but the yeah, moment you find you out assume. the moment you find out you're gone i'm done and i'm not giving you a second chance i'm i'm just i've if lost you didn't interest drop everybody after you met me then goodbye <laughs> <laughs> there we go oh wait fuck hold on yeah it's just i don't know man be properly single and i don't know if like i said if i find out like or like cade said excuse me if i find out that I'm seeing you and we have sex and you're fucking another guy, it's done. And yeah. maybe you're okay with that. Maybe you're okay with seeing multiple guys at the same time. But for me, it's just, it is the thought of sleeping with a girl and maybe you guys might relate because maybe the thought of you guys sleeping with a guy who just fucked a girl three hours earlier might I in your stomach yeah, might I give really, you a little disgust of course. for STD. But I don't risk, care like, what he's done 10 years, five years ago. You know, that's the difference. His body count doesn't matter that much. I care if he's fucking another girl, you know, right now, this week, I want him to come single. Exactly. I want him to be invested in the relationship. But if he slept around, you know, if he had a hoe phase, I wouldn't necessarily care as long as he's way past that and ready to commit. And I don't understand why it's different, frankly. I, I think you guys go back to like evolution and lizard brain and I understand that that's your preference, but I just don't think that like it should be like societally that girls need to have a lower count and guys don't have to care. Because like, I don't think that's right. Because to me, sex is more than just sport fucking. Yeah, I agree. I'm right but if there you, with you, if buddy. You, if you fucked a hundred people, I don't care if it's in your past, you have detached intimacy from the act of sex. You have rewired your brain. It's fried. You're done. Like, it's just... There's no fixing it for you. Like, they couldn't no, go through therapy. They couldn't work it out. It's not about therapy. You have detached intimacy from sex. It's gone. And now you're going to have a harder time bonding with anybody in the you're future. You're going to have a hard... Exactly. You're going to have a harder time pair bonding. And you're going to bring... It's also baggage. Like, the more past partners you've had... You're, you're coming with more baggage. And that's why it's better to date somebody. I think I, I'll, I've taken this from Andrew Tate. I think it's way better. I mean, depends on how mature the woman is at 19, 20, but it is hard to have a relationship with somebody that young. But I do think it is better to date somebody with less bodies, with less time in the dating market, because that way you're dealing with less baggage. And that way they, they become a better person. See, men, if they have trauma in their life, they use that trauma to become a better man. Women that have trauma in their life, it makes them, it, it, it makes it harder for them to go through life. Women that have trauma, it's hard for them to get past. Men that have trauma, it molds you into a bigger, better man. Are you joking? No, like, <laughs> what? what are you saying, dude? 